So lately, a Minecraft YouTuber named Dream has been rising in popularity. He has gained over 10 million subscribers in less than 6 months. His Minecraft Manhunt series has gotten him to over 1 billion views. Many of you viewers at home have been playing this game. Now here is the best Minecraft Manhunt strategies that Dream uses. If you see a village, go straight for the hay bales. It's a great source of food. And they decrease fall damage when you fall on them, in risky situations. A lot of you know this, but this is for beginners. When you crouch, your name tag becomes invisible to other players. If you have time, it's important to get iron. A quick way is to find and kill an iron golem. Always keep a bucket of water on you, just in case you fall. For a nice getaway, I suggest crafting a boat. Exploring the ocean is also a great way to find loot from shipwrecks. When you run out of food and the hunter is on your trail, don't be afraid to quickly kill an animal and eat it raw. Another way to get better food fast is to craft flint and steel, using it to burn the animal and finishing it off with a sword. Now, you have cooked food. When making a nether portal make sure the spot is, hidden from plain sight, in an area where you haven't seen the hunter in a while, and near lava. It's nice to have a lot of blocks for many reasons. A very fast way to get some is to craft shears. Then you will be able to mine all the leaves off a tree in a matter of seconds. A very effective way to slow the hunter down, is to splash him with a bucket of lava. It's fun to watch them burn.
Lastly, when in the nether, bartering with piglins, can get you useful loot. To do this, you throw gold at them, wait, and then they throw items back. Thank you, so much for watching. You should subscribe. Because we got a lot of amazing stuff coming out. Like a really cool new crossover event, it's gonna be dope. Bye.